A very warm welcome back to Stone Valley for episode 11 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Well, it's that time. We are going to take our new 8240, we're going to go down to field 3, and we are going to start harvesting. I've got a few jobs I want to get done in this episode, a few things I want to get done. I don't know if I'm going to get the entire harvest done, I doubt it. I'm going to start with an explanation, not an apology. Um, there may be an echo, a slight, oh, that's a size slight, I hope it's only slight, um, compared to my normal recording. You will also notice a few things, it depends if I edit them out or not. Because I'm away on holiday with my wife and Silly G, myself and Silly G are still going to try and get, like I said, we're still going to try and get some videos up as best we can. Um, my Stone Valley Let's Play is going to be as and when I can record. So I'm not quite sure when this is going to post, but because we're in the barn, our favourite place, up in the Lake District, the whole dynamic is completely different. I don't have my gaming set up, I don't have all of my gear. Um, I'm sitting in the kind of lounge area in the barn. It's a big open space. The TV is a fairly big TV, but it's on the other side of the room on the wall. And I'm sat on the sofa, a bit like I used to be when I used to record in my living room at home. Um, so there's a bit of an echo, plus my eyesight, I realise now, is appalling. Um, I'm actually kind of got the idea my eyesight's been getting worse and I had glasses a while back and didn't really wear them very often but because the screen's so far away I'm changing different menus and options and I'm looking at things I'm thinking I can't read that I, I, it's horrendous um, <laughs> I may need to get my eyes tested for a start um, when we get to over here to field three I'm going to start off and then I'll let the harvester run we'll have to go and get the lorry and trailer and um, to unload. Hopefully we're going to get a good yield. I haven't even checked again to see what the price is and you can imagine it's going to be low. Now because we're heading down to our dairy farm, I'll we'll pull across the road here and we'll start from here I think, um, and I want to get some cows and we've got all of the stuff now for making total mix ration. The other problem I've got now is one, making the total mix ration, two, storage of total mix ration. Because of this farm over here, we haven't got any silos. So what I'm thinking of doing is emptying out the silo at our farm there, because realistically, that was our base kind of place. But if we're going to be machinery and stuff will still be stored there, operating out of there, that's where the house is, that kind of stuff. But our dairy farm is going to be where a lot of the stuff is going to be um, happening so to speak, it's a happening place um, we're going to need a silo and a way of doing tarp extraction, so that's what I'm looking at potentially over the course of this episode I'll get some silos put up by um, a local silo building company I'm sure there are plenty um, so yeah, that's the plan, that's what we're going to get done whether we actually get cows in this episode or not, I'm not sure but what we'll also do is whiz over and we'll have a look at the um, at where all the bales are stored at the moment it may not be ideal it may not be where you would store them it's just where i've put them at the moment rightly or wrongly let's open that um that's the first time i've done that in ages isn't it actually open the harvester before pressing the button it says first you need to unfold the harvester you muppet obviously that's not the, the real message but um thinking i need to get a headland in this end we're going to run top to bottom shouldn't really be turning with the header but Let's get a strip in at least here. Normally I find with harvesters it's not too bad to do one headland. Whether you do it all the way around the field or top and bottom and then run. When I'm seeding or planting I generally do two. I allow two widths, I guess. Two widths of the seeder. So if I do one strip like this I would do two strips. That normally gives the, the machine that's doing the planting or seeding enough room to turn around completely to come back up again. That's just me, you know, I know the AI can be somewhat unpredictable, but just trying to alleviate as much of that unpredictability as possible. Whereas normally with harvesting you can get away with one strip, especially with a wide header like this. But you can do two if you want to. It's, you know, again, short call. 
Hey, what happens when no one's watching is your affair. <laughs> oh, turned it off, didn't drop it. Um, the other thing I'm also missing <laughs> massively. So for any of you that are thinking of buying one, and for those of you that have messaged me recently asking, is it worth it? Is it worth it is always a very difficult question. Because it depends how you put a value on something. Do I miss it? My Satec, I keep saying Satec, it always was Satec, Logitech. My Logitech heavy equipment side panel. Oh man, I'm, I, of course I haven't got it with me. That's all that's on my, my gaming desk, my setup in you know, my under the stairs, my broom cupboard. Um, I haven't got one. If I'd have bought one with me or taken it with me from my table, it would just be sitting on the side of the sofa now where I am. Plus it's also more things to bring with us when we come away to put in the car. But, oh man, I miss it. The ability to just press a button and open the map, press a button and... I mean, the map's not so bad, you can do it on the controller. But opening up menus and doing all the various different things, not having it, like whacking on the cruise control, rolling the cruise control up and down to get the, the speed you need. And I honestly couldn't be without it now. I've, I realise how much I use it. And then when you come to like, things like opening the help window, I'm thinking like when I do mod reviews and stuff like that, opening the help window is a simple thing. Press a button, boom, help window open. Now I know it's first world problems having to go in through the menu. I know it's not hard work, is it? But honestly, you, you really start to think, wow, I am seriously missing it. I honestly can't believe how much this is collected already. It's the beauty of this. Also on this one, I went for the long pipe too to give me plenty, plenty, plenty of room to get under it. So whatever I'm doing, I'm get, get, I don't have to get too close to the harvester and that kind of thing. So. Right. Let's get that rolling. That's going to fill up in no time. Especially running the strip up. Now I don't know whether it's going to go across the little grass strip that runs across, as you can see in front of us, right to left. Um whether it will roll across it at the right angle because the head is quite long it should do oh that was I think <coughs> excuse me Big Daddy messaged me now when I did episode 1.5 and I said about the corn growing now I took the information from the internet now I may have said the wrong state and I'm going to say the wrong thing again now aren't I is it Iowa? So it was Iowa. Big Daddy said um, Iowa, where he lives. Um, I'm sure I might have said I might have said Idaho, and not Iowa, possibly. Um, so yeah, apologies for that. Um, I thought I would correct that. So thank you for the information. Um, yeah, we're at five thousand litres ready. This will do fourteen thousand four hundred, which is great. But I'm going to need to go and grab the lorry and the trailer. Um, if we do get the silos up, it's also going to mean emptying out the silos that are over there. It does mean we can sell the multi, the multi fruit silo that's up there at the farm. We could technically sell the other one as well because we wouldn't need it there. Um, and we own it, so we could get rid of it. Mm. Again, options. It's just things I'm thinking of. As you can see, the money's right up again. I did a few more contracts off screen. What are we up to now contract-wise? Uh, let's scroll across to there. We're up to... I looked at the wrong thing then. So 193. No, that's created bales. Um, mission completed 76. So we've done another five. Um, and like I say, a few of those were the big fields again. When it rolls through the second fertilising state on the big fields, you know, 30, 40 grand a pop, you can make a bit of money. You can do all right. So, uh, yeah, it's good. I'm feeling good. I am thinking as well, maybe next episode we're going to have to sort out a new tractor. Because much as, um, you know, up to now I've been re-prepping and repurposing the fields for what we've got. I'm very conscious of the fact, if we are going to increase productivity, if we are going to end up buying more fields, we need to be turning those fields quicker. I say we, I need to be turning those fields quicker. For my own sanity, if nothing else. The fact it's taken me, on average, about four or five hours to record each of these episodes because of the amount of time. Not, you know, obviously the ones where I'm choosing to do contracting, that's my choice. 
you know, I'm putting those hours in because I want to get the money up because there's stuff I want to buy and stuff's not cheap. I get that. But when you're just repurposing your fields and you want to get them ready for the next planting, and that's taking four or five hours, um, I, I need a bigger cultivator. I need a bigger... I mean, ploughs, again, can't really do a lot about that. Maximum going up to is 10, unless I start doing interestingly thought-up concoctions um, hooking up multiple ploughs together and that kind of thing which is an option but ploughing unfortunately is one of those things you just have to bite the bullet every so many harvests or depending on what crop you've put in ploughing is a necessary evil unless you've turned it off I know a lot of people turn it off I don't like having it on and that again is entirely up to you do whatever you want to do I've missed that bit that could be the crucial bit that makes me you know, it won't be but you never know I'll stay as close to the tree as I can because I don't want to overlap too much when I come back the other way. Find the tractor. That really does need to be collected by whoever owns it. Considering I own both fields either side of it. I'm losing my voice again. That's not good. So, up to 10,000 leaves already. This should make the end of the field to make the turn. So I'll be on the right side, the correct side, sorry, not the right the correct side for unloading. Hopefully that has swung out a bit. Just not realised. Um, I hope we're going to make the end of the field. We should do. Right, what's going on with this? Again, it's because I'm used to because I'm used to using the side panel. You've got your on-off button for your machinery, you've got your raise and lower, you've got, you know, I'm just used to just putting my hand to the right and bump, pressing the button, bump, pressing the button. So you probably notice the head is going up and down like a yo-yo and... Oh, dear me. I honestly didn't realise how much I'd come to rely on it. Right. That's going to be pretty... I'm just thinking the size of this field. We've done one strip up and we've almost got a full tank. We are going to get so much off of this. I don't know why I'm surprised. It's a massive field. We're always going to get a good yield, but... Craziness. Right, I'll do the next strip of that when I come back next time. So I think what we need to do is make sure, like I say, we're on the correct side for unloading. So what I'm going to do now is set a worker off, that's going to fill up really quick, and I'll go and grab the lorry and whiz back. Um, the bales, like I said, did I say, um, the bales off a of field 8, all the hay bales have been collected, they have been taken over to the uh, dairy farm, I think I might have mentioned that already. And uh, I'll show you that later on. Okay, uh, we need to head into the first just down there, I can see it. I have got the regular, I said the regular, I've got the, the BSM trailer with the pup on the back again. I am thinking if this kind of harvest, the more fields we get, the quicker we can turn them. I'm thinking of getting a dolly and a second one of the BSM trailers. So we can roll 140 at a time rather than um, 95, which is what we're doing at the moment. But again, yeah, that's going to be a little bit further down the line. As we increase the size of our um, operation again there's also the possibility what I might do is get another another lorry and trailer because if we get a multiple harvesters we might have rather than running two harvesters on a field at a time I could have one on one field one on another unload both at the same time we'll say at the same time obviously I can't at the same time this unloads so quickly I've got so used to the other two harvesters fairly small capacities unload speed wasn't that fast um, the auger speed um, this is unloaded at such a rate of knots actually I need to get into that before that moves off because I've just suddenly realised I think we're over a little bit plus we missed a bit here kind of that coming pipe away turn it on yeah we just come across a little bit Go. Mm. 
Right. This one, I'm going to lime as well. That was the other thing I was going to say. I took the time to lime field 17. Um, but this one, if we now go across to uh, growth, that's been harvested. Soil composition, yeah. Needs lime. So we're going to do that. Doesn't need ploughing. That's good. So we'll lime it and we'll get a fertilising state on it. Um, actually what I could do is a fertilizer it's all about changing the state of the field and that's I think I'm sure it worked last time was it on Sussex I did it if I fertilize first then lime the lime gives the field a different look it changes the texture not the state I need to get the right way around because the texture has changed across the top it then allows you to do a second fertilizing without actually having changed the state of the field, I think. We'll have to test that out. Um, we'll give that a go. And it, it just allows you to get multiple fertilising states down without having to do too much to the field. Again, I could be at that position where I'm fertilising at the same time as seeding. So I could fertilise first, then when I'm doing my seeding or planting, I could fertilise then. Which is an option I should be looking at, really, I suppose. Again, it's... There's no, there's no real reason to it. I know a lot of people ask me, what, why don't you? You know, why, you know, or uh, actually, what a lot of people. I was talking to Silly G about this yesterday. We went for a walk because I said we're up in the Lake District. We went for a walk, took the dog out, went, went for a bit of a walk around the countryside, and we were just chatting about YouTube in general and her channel and you know how things were going. She was asking me questions about mine and various different things she wants to try and do. And you know, give her a juice. She's keen as mustard, and she's you know she's really thinking ahead of options of what she could be doing and making things better. And it's fantastic. Um, <laughs> I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> no. It was something we were talking about YouTubing. Oh. Or was it about farming in general? That thought may never come back to me. And you'd all be going, oh, come on. He's done it again. Started off a conversation and then stopped part way through. We'll never know what he was talking about. Nor will I. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, this is what I was going to show you. Uh, right, bales. So this building here, rightly or wrongly, is where I'm storing my bales at the moment. And like I said before, it's a bit worrying because there's lots of wet patches underneath here. So I don't know if the roofs are leaking, but... Um, so my silage bales all got piled up here. That's where I put them up here. And as you can see, that's not... You know, there's nothing... I did that myself. All manually stacked, those. Um, these, you can probably tell. Not manually stacked. We've got the trailer and that's what it's there for. So our straw bales we moved from our farm over there to here they got put in here the hay bales 90 of them it was 90 wasn't it we had um they were a little bit trickier to get in here <laughs> but as you can see um they are all in here as well so everything i need for making total mix ration is in here as is our wheel loader um now this bit out here i'm now starting to believe stupidly this bit here this apron I'm just thinking of aircraft you know but this section here came out to about here and when I first bought the farm I thought that's wasted all that area there I don't need that so I ploughed it all out and added more field in <laughs> then I started looking at options for silos and realized this is the only bit around the farm at the moment that I can actually place a silo but Every side I would try to place came out into the field a little bit. So I'm going to lose a little bit of the field. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is I'm going to get the harvester. Once it's done one of the strips back down there, I'm going to bring it across, do this bit here, this strip up here, and then I'll get the silos placed. Because I don't want to place them now, I'll lose crop. Um, not a huge amount, but... So yeah, so what I'm thinking is silos, plural. And you'll see when I place them, hopefully. I don't know. Again, it's all ideas at the moment. I was trying to work out a way of placing them at the front. Because um, it's quite a big open area. And I thought having a silo at the front might be quite handy. We can load and unload on the way in. It's a little bit further away from where my bales are. So if I was mixing bales over there to then store it 
if I was going to make loads and store it. But everything said, you know, there were obstacles in the way. And I thought, well, I'll clear a few trees out, which I could, still could do. But then we've got rocks here as well, which I can't do anything about. So one of the silos, I thought, well, that'll fit in perfectly here. Here, we've got the big pit that's unseen under here for the slurry tank. And there we've got rocks. And I just, it just wouldn't fit. It wouldn't allow it. Um, so, yeah, potentially I could take some trees out. I mean, this side, we've got rock. Oh, yeah, I see a rock there as well. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking that back apron, that's where we're going to go for it. Once those are placed, then we're good to rock and roll. We can get some cows in, we can get going. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Things are progressing nicely. As you can see, the money has gone down, top right hand corner, silos are have been built we'll have a look at those in a minute i've gone big limey this time because i am in the united states a big limey um you may not have heard that phrase before it depends how old you are i suppose um now i've gone for the braid lk165 this time to put lime on field three uh, this holds 18,000. We're going to find out in a minute. I'm, I'm not, actually I'm not quite sure how much. I've, yeah, I've kept thinking the cover rolls back. It doesn't. Um, how much I've got left actually in the silo. I bought 70,000 litres. And I honestly can't remember how much I used in the other field. I may need to go and buy some more. In which case, fair enough, I'll go and buy some more. As you can probably imagine, and as is oft the case in these situations, the price for soybean has tanked again when I just planted my soybean and I had it in the ground the price at the north sale point was 1,900 and something for a thousand oh only 33,000 is left oh I'm going to definitely need to buy some more okay um, I've just gone to have a look the price at the north sale point is 1,100 <laughs> at the other two sale points west and south it's 1,3 and dropping <laughs> Both. See, I'm so far away from the screen, I honestly can't see down the bottom. 18,950, does that say? I really do apologise. <laughs> oh, eye test is needed. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to store it. So what we have purchased is um, a multi-fruit silo. We've got a 250,000 litre multi-fruit silo. And we've had placed the smaller of the two TMR mixer silos. They're right next to each other. So what we're going to do is mix the TMR. So in essence, it's just a huge mixer. Um, and that's the thing, looking at the options we've got available. I was going to go for the 45,000 litre, where are we, under animals. I think I've still got it installed somewhere, available for purchase. Yeah, the trailed line system there that's 45,000 litre capacity feed mixer for making total mixed ration. It's 141,000. It is mobile, which means you can take it wherever you want. And obviously, you know what mobile means, but um, so you could place it anywhere and you can make your total mixed ration. The silo that I bought. Was 110,000. Now, I was far as I recall because those have changed they've had an update so it, I'm sure it was a one was 250,000 I'm sure the other one was a was it 100,000 so for 100,000 litre mixing capacity for 110 grand buying that silo for doing total mixed ration is actually cheaper than buying the feed mixer that does 45 so um, I just thought all right it's fixed in place but that's kind of a no-brainer now admittedly the initial concept of being able to mix it and leave it in the silo as storage as well didn't pan out the way um, that the manufacturer DD Mod Passion had hoped but I needed a new silo anyway so it's not like you know if you were if you had a silo already unless of course you've got a multi-fruit silo if you've got a multi-fruit silo already then it's not a problem um, so I've put them fairly close to each other. Let's open that up. Um, and we'll get cracking on the uh, 
liming so while the harvesting is continuing I'll run straight up behind it oh, I was going to fertilise first wasn't I I'm losing my mind here I was going to lime first and see if we could lime uh, fertilise, lime, fertilise sorry we'll get there we'll get there, I'll go and grab the other tractor let's fertilise, even if I just do a strip then lime over the top, whichever way around we'll have a crack and see if we can work this out fold that back up I'm going to get the other one, it's because I've got sidetracked actually while we're here, let's reserve another look um, I have done a bit of landscaping, so we've had a crew in the uh, silos have been built they're incredibly fast, as you can probably tell very efficient workers out here in the US, very impressed um, so what we've done is we put the silos up did a bit of extension work on the pad however you want to refer to it um, and I did a, did a little bit of landscaping you'll see, I'll explain in a second you'll see when we get there, you can already see the silos look, looking rather nice um, so this is our multi-fruit silo 250,000 litres that I've placed here and it allowed me to place fairly close but as you can see it, it into the field a little bit now the pad came out to about here so it only took a little bit off so I've done a bit of grass work around the back here we've placed the mix, total mix ration silo here which again just came out into the field a little bit be careful with this because when you go to place it when I went to place it it was showing this bit here was this side so I thought, oh, line both those up, that'd be quite nice. Pressed place, and it swings it round through 180 degrees. But that doesn't matter, because this is my chute for taking it out of this mixer. This is for putting it in. Now, I'm probably going to put it in through this, using the um, bale grab. So I'm going to take it out of here, drive there, and put it into that one so that's not a problem and I can make a load of it at a time so I can put you know, that I can have 250,000 litres on hand whenever I need it that's going to work great so what I also then did was out the back here I extended the pad a little bit because I thought coming off of here with a, with a lorry or whatever I'm going to be using swinging around and trying to get up there might be a little bit tight so I used the bit of grass verge that was here I added a little bit in here and then I did a bit of landscaping out through here so the track now continues on down here and around the corner this one finished just here so I just extended that a little bit and blended it together so we've now got so you can kind of do a route round for collection drop off so whatever I'm going to be putting into that silo I can do so what I'm going to have to do immediately is I say immediately once that is full you can see the lorry over there once the lorry's got 95,000 litres in it that's coming into here I'm going to store it I'm not selling it now I'm not taking a hit on it this time um, I'm going to wait till the price comes back up. I'd rather get one nine for a thousand than one one or you know one three and falling, which means once I deliver some more, I'm going to lose so much. So it's just not happening. Uh, I'm going to store it. So that's where we're at. Silos are built. We're down to three hundred thirty-nine thousand. I was really hoping to sell the soybean because I want to get the money back up so we can buy our tractor, but uh, it is what it is. Um, hopefully, by the time this is done and we're repurposing the field potentially the other field will be ready to harvest we'll do that too by the time both lots are done the only problem I've got is I'm not going to fit it won't all go in that 250,000 litres is not going to be enough to store it all oh that could be an issue how many 250,000 litre bins am I going to have to put up that's a bit scary actually the next one doesn't have to be a multi-fruit though does it the next one I put up, although where I'm going to put that I have no idea, doesn't have to be multi-fruit. Why am I getting into that? I need the lorry. Right, uh, so fertilising first. I'll get the fertiliser spread over here. I'll see you in a minute. Get the fertilising done. Then we'll get the liming done and hopefully we get this finished. So we'll go. I just went back and checked and I remembered where I lost my thread. <laughs> we were talking about fertilising. Doing this it reminded me. I thought, oh, I didn't need to go back. Um, I started off by saying why why do I do it this way around why do I not fertilise when I seed I don't know um, and that's why I went off on a tangent saying CDG, CDG and I were talking about you know different options and how you go about it and you know all those kind of things and I said a lot of people have asked me and you do get asked questions like that all the time and, and honestly there's no real reason people will often tell you 
or ask you, and this is what I started off by saying, the, the conversation we had was, people will always, always, will message me and say, did you know that? Or you did this wrong, you should do it this way, or you can do it this way. I just want to put it out there now, and this is probably going to ruffle a few feathers, people are not going to be very happy, I'm not trying to come across as arrogant or cocky or anything like that. What I would suggest is, if you're new to my channel, or you're not new to my channel, just have a look on my channel at how many videos I've posted. Have a look at the fact that I've got 60,000 subscribers, just gone past 60,000 subscribers. In my mind, I must be doing something right. I must be. I, you know, in all honesty, people wouldn't watch, so I wouldn't have that many subscribers if I wasn't doing something right. Now, maybe you're watching for the mod reviews. It maybe you're watching for map tools. It maybe you watch my Let's Plays regularly. It maybe you watch everything. I really, really don't know. You might be new because I started doing SnowRunner, and you might have just dropped on and started watching things like this. I have pretty much had a go at every aspect of farming with multiple bits of equipment and machinery over the five odd years I've been doing this. And I love the fact that people, you know, if, and I have, honestly, I have had people message me and say, did you know, and sometimes it's about a new mod, normally about a new mod, did you know the new blah 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 can do so and so? And sometimes when I've done a mod review, and again, this was something we talked about, every time I do a mod review, I always say, in the mod review, I am likely to miss something. That It happens, I'm, I'm likely to miss something. If I do, I apologise. Um, and... Especially on a day like the other day when we had, oh, man, it was a ridiculous amount of mods, wasn't it? A ridiculous amount of updates. Was it last Friday? Whenever it was, anyway. It's always the one thing you miss that people comment and say, oh, you, you forgot so-and-so, or you missed this. Honestly, when you're going through so many mods, so many different functions, so many different things, you're going to miss something. It's just the way it is. You're going to miss something. But it's when people message me and say, oh, you know, you're doing that wrong. You do know that you can, you can fertilise when you seed. Of course I do. Of course I know you can do that. I've been doing it a long time. I know I know that. And the thing I try to put across in all the videos I do, there are so many different ways of doing all the different functions. Is there a right and wrong way? There's a way that maybe the people around you do it. There may be a way that the farmers around you do it. If you are a farmer, there may be a way that your farm does it. That also doesn't mean that every farm everywhere does it the same way. Um, you know, do I do it correctly? Probably not. Why do I not fertilise when I seed, if the seeder has the option to fertilise? I don't know. I just got into the habit of running out, getting the fertiliser states done, then seeding. Not having to worry about having the seed. I know I've kind of I've covered this before, I have spoken about it before. Um, it is just habit. And I'm absolutely fully aware that I can fertilise at the same time as seeding. I, I know. Um, and I honestly cannot explain why I don't. Um, I've often found, like a lot of you probably have done, that the ratio between fertiliser and seed within the tanks, to me, seems a bit off. Someone did explain it to me a little while back. I think in the real life, in, in the real life, in real life, the ratio works out a little bit better and the actual spread of both almost kind of marries up and evens out. Um, and I suppose if you've got a lot more fertiliser than seed, then it's okay. Um, you have to refill something at some point, aren't you? Um, so yeah, I, I just want to kind of put that. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to come across as arrogant or cocky or do that kind of. You know, yeah, I know, because I don't. I'll be totally honest. There are things people have messaged me and said, "Did you know?" And I've said, "You know what? I don't." And when someone tells me something or shows me something new that I didn't know, I will always give that person a shout out. I'd also say thank you so much to whoever it was for letting me know about blah blah blah. Now unfortunately, if somebody's messaged me and they've told me something, one, I already know, or two, another 50 people have already told me that day, I'm not likely to give that one person a shout out. Sometimes I will also say thank you to everyone who commented about blah blah blah. And I can't list everyone, because sometimes it is, or li literally, 50 people will all tell me the same thing. Um, so apologies if you're one of those people that have commented at any point saying oh did you know or you can do this or you can do that and I haven't said your name specifically it might just be the one it's something already new Two, it might be on a day that lots of other people have already told me that um, and you kind of get swept up in the whole thank you to everyone um, so I just wanted to you know cover all the bases on that um, right sea tank uh, the fur <laughs> harvest is full I'm going to empty the harvester with the 
we're almost full actually I'm going to have to put it into silo 2 and then we'll get some lime on the ground um, I'm now thinking about time wise how much we're going to get done uh, but anyway yeah so sorry about that I just thought you know just wanted to say it get it out there that really didn't come across well did it sorry I, I really appreciate every comment that everyone leaves I'm not <laughs> it sounded really ungrateful um, I, I don't know and dig myself a bigger hole by saying anything else. Um, right, lime. Big limey. Let's get this on. Let's line that up as best I can. Go across there. Across the left a little bit more, I think. So, we'll get the lime down. I'm going to do a strip along here again. Just a bit of turning room, head room. I didn't go all the way with the fertiliser this way either because the harvester hadn't gone far enough and I didn't want to um, not over spray but I didn't want to you could spray but then it won't cover anything until the stuff's actually been harvested so it seemed pointless so I'll wait until more of the harvest is done the lorry is full we've got 95,000 litres on board so what I'm going to have to do oh yeah I missed a bit here that uh, isn't quite far enough over um, what I'm going to do is uh, take that we'll put it into the silo that's probably what we're going to do when we finish off the episode um, this this may be shorter like I say I'm trying to fit it in around other things you know we're trying to get everything done is that about right again maybe over a little bit I think yep there we go that's better um, yeah so it may be a little bit shorter and um, the harvest it's a big harvest anyway it's going to take a long time to get that done so I'll get the first first 95,000 into storage but we have again um, field is being harvested we're using the new um, harvester we've got um, we've borrowed at least this line spreader we've got a new two new silos um, it's all going on we've got we've got lots happening um, I'm really curious to see how much we do get off this although weirdly I'm sure off a of field 17 didn't we get two full was that soybean or was that when we did Oh, it was the corn. It was corn, sorry. Soybeans lower yielding. I'm thinking, I'm sure we got almost two two full loads off of the corn fit off of the other field, but it was it was corn. It wasn't soybean. Um so what we'll do this is gonna get through this at such a rate and it's a big field as well. Um Lime again is only every three harvests, isn't it? Liming. I haven't done it for a while, I'm trying to think last time I did this as well. I'm sure it's every three harvests. So um yeah, I'll have to go and buy some more. At the end of the day, I d again, I do know that I can do contracts. If I pick up a contract on a field, whether it be fertilising, you know, if I pick up a fertilising job that, that's, um, I don't know, 15 grand, I'm pretty sure that 70,000 load of lime we bought in the last episode, the last episode was only 12 grand for a 70,000 litre load. Um you kind of get spoilt as well and, and other farming areas if you know what I mean where you can get lime for free in certain places um, then having to pay for it you're like whoa what's expensive <laughs> well it's not expensive of all the things it's one of the cheapest commodities in, in the thing you can get but when you're getting through a fair rate of it we'll get, we'll get a fair bit done and if I have to buy some more I'll buy some more it's all part and parcel I was asked about weeds the other day. Um, still, I do not. Oh, don't even get me started on weeds. Weeds are bad enough. Weeds with seasons are better. Um, and I, I actually responded to someone's comment on PlayStation. They messaged me actually about weeds. And I'll be honest with you. Totally honest with you. Again, this comes down to uh, people's comments and feedback, and you know that. I've done various different videos with weeds on. I did a tutorial not long after the game was released. You know, it was, it was kind of brand new when FS19 came out. Weeds was a new thing. We got onto weeds, went through all what it said in, in you know, the instructions for weeds, did a video, and then over a period of time, it, that got torn to pieces because people then told me oh, everything I'd done wrong, and you know, which is fair enough. If I made mistakes, I made mistakes. Then seasons came out and that changed things. And then obviously you, you've got, and I say it in inverted commas again, all these experts. And what I always find with experts is I have as many people that are experts telling me 
this is how it should be done one way, as many experts telling me it should be done another way. Everyone can't be right. <laughs> Someone's got to be wrong, but everyone knows it should be done a certain way. Now, I have found weirdly, and I don't know why, it seems to differ from map to map. And again, I'll be told I'm wrong. I, I will have comments on this video telling me, no, it's really straightforward, it's very simple. I do this, this, and this, and it works every time. Well, the weird thing is, I've done weeds, and I've done it on different maps, and I've done it in different ways, all different ways people have taught me. And then I'll go to a new map, and for some reason, it won't work. Or for some reason, you try and kill the weeds off, and they don't die. And they come back. I had a guy message me and say, he's got weeds on. Um, he tried to get rid of the weeds in the youngest state using a mechanical weeder um, and they wouldn't go. Um, he then tried to use liquid um, herbicide when they got a bit bigger, st still wouldn't go. So he turned weeds off um, and he's, he's having a nightmare. And I said, look, I'll be honest with you, I don't run them. I don't do them anymore. They were a great idea in theory. And again, like I say, if you're if you're using weeds and you've got it down pat and you your system works, absolutely brilliant. And again, it comes down to that: play the game you want to play it. I personally turn them off because they just drive me up the wall. I did them on Sussex farms and they were okay. I it was a bit hit and miss. I had some successes, some failures. They sometimes work, sometimes it was, you know. And you get to a point you think, oh, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of them. So again, is it playing the game properly? I, I defy anybody to, to, to determine or define the term properly. What is the proper way of, you know, if there isn't one, is there? It's just play it. So, I don't know. So, that's sort of kind of answering a, a multiple of questions there. It's, you know, it's a difficult one. You know, I, I personally don't run them. Um, but if you do and they work great, if you do and you're having some success, fantastic. Um, and I'm sure I'll get people commenting telling me, you know, actually, you know what, it's fairly straightforward, this is how you do it. And I'll have as many people comment saying, actually, this is how you do it, and it'll be completely different. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. Actually, off the back of that, I was watching an interesting video. I know this is completely unrelated, unrelated. unrelated. Uh, this guy, his name's not Jang Bricks, but it's Jang Bricks. If any of you know, if any of you, any of you watched my um, tour, my 50,000 subscriber special, went to the tour, showed you my gaming setup, man cave tour, that kind of stuff. Got a bit of a thing for Lego, uh, Lego collector, Lego builder, you know, a bit of a thing for minifigs and that kind of thing. There's a guy called Jang Bricks who does Lego videos and reviews new kits and does all sorts of stuff, and he's got a big Lego city in his, so his basement. He's got this huge room in there. And he's a bit of an aficionado, pretty good guy. And I, I like him. He's one of those guys as well who's got an amazing voice. The sort of voice you'd expect to hear on radio, you know, just wow. Could melt chocolate. Um, and he was really angry the other day. And there was a Lego set that was due to be released, the Osprey, V22 Osprey. And there's a bit of controversy at the moment around it because Lego always from the outset said they would not make military models. Or they have a very kind of specific current modern military, like weapons of war. They don't, which is odd in a way because they have made kits on, you know, Wild West and knights. And so it's not about violence because there are swords and guns and knives and, you know, all sorts of stuff within the Lego thing. There's all the Star Wars stuff. And, you know, again, that's more fantasy, but, you know, well, they, they made this kit, went into production. I love the Osprey, I think it's an amazing bit of technology. Um, and they produced it, boxed it, shipped it. Before it hit the shelves in Lego stores, they pulled it. Because a lot of people were angry about the whole, you shouldn't be making modern military things, it's your rule, why have you done it? Nobody's quite sure why they pulled the kit. Everyone believes it's, well, you know what, it's caused unbelievable controversy and hatred and anger on forums and and Jang Bricks had come on and he was really upset you could tell you know he's normally such a calm and easygoing guy really really upset and angry not at the fact the kit had been pulled not at the whatever reason the fact that he said there are there are people out there using what is in essence it's a toy and yes all ages including grown adults play with them use them build them whether it's to be a stress reliever whatever it might be and it's a nice hobby, you know, 
to take that hobby and something, a decision that was made for whatever reason, and turn it into a political punching bag, to turn it into a... And, and he said on a lot of the forums and the chats and the stuff, the stuff that's being said is pure hatred. Or, and you stop and you think, that's mad. That, what, what, is, what is happening with people? Why? But, that's why I was kind of going with this, is that thing with even playing this? Sorry, I'm in I'm in controversy mode again. On I'm in I'm rant mode and controversy mode. You got to remember with this FS19 FS as a thing, it is a game. It, you got to remember that it is a game. I know again we're back to game simulator. You know simulators in the title. Yeah, all right, I get it. But it is a game, and people get so angry. And that was kind of I was just trying to show the parity between the two. People get so angry about certain things and about certain, you know. You do have to stop every now and again and just give yourself a bit of a reset, and say, look, you know, you, you should never tell someone, look, just relax, just chill out, just you know, because that just inflames people. It makes people angry. I totally get that, but you do have to stop every now and again and say to yourself, it is a game. It's supposed to be enjoyed, <laughs> whether you play it as a simulator or a game. It still should be enjoyed, shouldn't it? It shouldn't be an anger thing. It, sh <laughs> it shouldn't bring out the worst in people. It should bring out the best. And generally speaking, the community and everything that people do when they play this game and they join up with friends and and you watch videos and it's entertaining, it's fun. It, it should be, shouldn't it? It should be fun. Shouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know, is that just me being a bit blinkered and a bit naive to the world? I don't know. But um, there you go. You're welcome. Uh, another rant from Miss Silly P. <laughs> I know it's why some of you tune in, um, but I just... Uh, of course, a day for getting things off my chest, isn't it? I don't know why. It's because I'm a few days away from turning 47, that's what it is. Getting old, I'm getting crotchety. So, what I'm going to do, before we finish, I'm going to have a go at then going back over again with fertiliser. Because, like I say, have I ploughed, have I cultivated, have I changed the ground state? No, but I have changed the ground texture. We've gone from the harvested state. I've run out. Um, I've changed the harvested state and put fertilizer down. I've then put lime on top of that. It should now let me put another fertilizer state on top. And I haven't actually changed the ground state at all. I haven't done anything to it. All I've done is just put a different coating, a different layer on, so to speak. Um, so what we'll do is we'll do that. The harvest is full. I'm going to empty that. We'll come back, we'll get some fertiliser down, if it will let me. It should do. Um, and I'll go and refill the lime spreader, and then I'll, you know... I'll, I'll let you all go back to enjoying your... <laughs> enjoying whatever you're doing, without this mad Englishman moaning all the time. I have switched back to this straight away, because I suddenly realised... <laughs> I can't empty the harvester, because my lorry's full. Um, so what we'll do, we'll try this. I'll go straight from here this time. We're out of 45 metres, so I should be right about there. Put it on. Yep. So that'll go straight over the top of the lime. So I've fertilised, limed, fertilised. Both my fertilising states are now down. The field is limed. It doesn't need ploughing between this... It's not telling me it needs ploughing, so that's good. We're right for another one half after this, or two after this? Two after this, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but it will allow me to do this. So now when I go back over with my cedar or my planter i don't have to worry about fertilizer in it i can just run it with our, with seeding and off it goes so we're done um like i say with seasons you need a third state so what you could then do if you do it this way it, there, like i say there are so many different ways you can fertilize and muck spread fertilize and slurry spread um oh, sorry fertilize and slurry. So you could <laughs> you could muck spread um, and then lime and slurry spread or you can you know, there are so many different ways you can put fertilizer down you can do um, liquid rather than solid which this is you can do liquid fertilizer on a much larger scale you can you know and what all do you do it is up to you a lot of people will seed and they'll wait for the first growth stage then put some more down and you know how you go about it it's up to you but it does work this is working I'm really pleased that's worked that it should have done um, I'm gonna stop that there I'll carry on with that in a minute. I'm going to carry on with that off screen because I need to get more lime in because now I'm going to be chasing my lime spreader with the fertilizer spreader. So, um, 
yeah and we'll swap to the lorry and then we'll deliver and we'll take it offload then we'll go and unload the harvester and the harvester can continue so it's all go i think i've got everyone out on the field today that's it's going to be a busy one so from the side of the road we're going to head up to the farm we're going to go around the back to our silo unload and hopefully drive back out again we should have enough room to do all that that is why I set it out the way I have. <laughs> Hopefully. Like I say, there is a load of room here, and I think if I cleared a few trees, maybe we could fit some silos in, but... At least this way, I've got my bales are all in one place. They're right next to where I'm going to be making my total mix ration. Then my total mix ration can be moved and stored in the silos. The silo can then be um, filled with anything else, which is what I'm doing now. But it does mean I can, I think, I might have to extend the paving out a little bit out here. So what we'll do is swing around the front here. If I can get round, I hope I can. Yep. I think I've just about gave myself enough room. Uh, we will open cover on that. Uh, open cover on that. Looks like I can't see the screen. So far away. Let's do that one first. Whoa. So this is now going to storage. Excellent. First 95,000 litres of soybean into our new silo. Once that's empty, we'll switch back to the front one. Back up a bit. Disconnect that. Move forward. And unload that. I'll just disconnect and unload only because this one tips up. And I don't want it tipping onto the front of the... Um, causes problems with the connection and of the uh, the pup behind. Nice, okay. I'm trying to think now, giving myself a rough estimate, what am I gonna get off this field? I reckon we could get we could fill this again. We could easily do another ninety five. We might get more than that actually. Let's be ninety five and ninety five, we're gonna be looking at hundred and ninety thousand litres, aren't we? I reckon we'll get about two twenty. I reckon. That's my guess at the moment. So next episode, hopefully next episode, we'll have an idea of where we're at. Now I can drive straight onto the field now, obviously, but if I had if I had harvest in the field, I can come round here, swing round, and then exit the farm that way. So I've got my route all the way around. So that has worked exactly how I want it to. Again, what I might do is extend a little bit of landscaping out there because I'm gonna be driving across that grass bit all the time, so it doesn't matter you don't have to it's just purely aesthetic but if you were driving over that repeatedly you would get a muddy bit on there so all i might do is just add a bit of bit of mud texture on there that's the plan so new harvest is working out absolutely splendidly new silo as we've already seen works next episode like i say maybe new tractor we'll find out how much we've made on this hopefully the fields will be prepped hopefully this field will be prepped we may well be ready for the harvest of our other field. That's not ready to harvest yet. I might make some Tolmix ration and we may get some cows. Um, th yeah, so those first few episodes where it was building up and getting enough money and doing lots of contracting, now we're at a point where we are going to have other jobs need to be done, which will take time away from contracting, but hopefully will make us money in other areas. That's, that's the plan. That's what I'm going for. Um... And then if we can make a bit more money again at any point, whether it's through our crops or contracting, then we'll buy another field, and then it'll be a case of second harvester, another trailer, you know, all the stuff we need to be doing. All that good stuff. So what I'm going to do, jump in the harvester. Now this has gone off at a bit of a tangent here. So what I'm going to do is put the pipe in, and do a little bit of a light. Oh no, I've just done this front of the truck. Um go back to here because it's crossed over there and didn't do all this bit because this is completely flat if you look at the, the strip there the, the grass strip again I could plow that out I you know it's it would make sense to plow it out then I wouldn't have an issue like this but I like the idea of the fact it's a drainage channel and that kind of thing and that may all change at some point I may get rid of it but anyway sorry <laughs> <laughs> Apologies again. I know, oh, you know what I'm like. But if you've been affected by anything in this episode, there isn't a helpline. But feel free to, you know, feel free to comment. 
um, negatively or positively. Try and be constructive in your criticism. That's all I ask. Um, I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching.